to today's project, which is going to be a Father's Day card. Oops, I'm just sorry, my chair is noisy. I'm trying to get closer, I'm weeding myself away. Uh, yeah, it's a Father's Day card. I'm I'm going to use the stamparatus with the hinge step technique. I've cut all my pieces. I just need to cut my piece of whisper white, which I'm stamping the main image onto, and. I need my whisper white to be 13, 9. Uh, do I need to be 13, 9? 9 and a half. Yes, that is right. 13, 9 by 9 and a half. Looks like I might need a new blade. I'm going to put the trimmer to one side. Just grab the rest of my basket of goodies that I'll need. So I'm using the Thoughtful Banners stamp set. Just going to get myself closer again. Sorry about this. Got myself comfy, then realised I needed my basket of goodies. I have a real red card base and blueberry bushel mat. I just love that combination. So it's kind of nautical colours without really being a nautical theme. Uh, then I've got the uh, Taylor Tea Punch and why can't I remember what that punch is called? That punch is called. That's a bit mad, isn't it? Let's have a little look. I'm having a moment not remembering what things are called. Um, classic label punch. Um, it's got, this stamp set also coordinates with the duet banner punch but I'm not using that one today so I've got my mat my whisper white all ready for stamping so let's grab my stamp apparatus my magnet sticking itself to my nice little basket and I've already gone ahead and put the this kind of rectangular bannery shape on where I want it. And for that to be where I need to stamp, I'm gonna put that right in, butt that up into the corner there. I've got my foam mat piece on there um, because I'm using photopolymer stamps, and that takes the place of the little um, cushion that you would normally get on a red rubber stamp. I hope that makes sense. So yes, as I say, I'm going to use the hinge step technique I'm using both magnets. Let me just see if I can just move that so you can see. And I might need to move the magnets around as I do my stamping. Just pop them there for now. When you've got a photopolymer stamp on the stamparatus, you will find that it will slightly lift up the um, the piece of card. So you do want to make sure that that's tethered. It's completely normal. It's nothing to worry about. So the first colour I'm going to stamp is my um, blueberry bushel. And the new style ink pad opens like a compact. So you're opening it up like that up and then you push it in like that and I'm just going to go and ink on there and, oops, hang on <laughs> hopefully you can still see if I had to move that crashing against my um, phone stand and then press down and then if it hasn't stamped all the way along 
like that one i just go over it again this is where you put the biggest gap between your stamp and your paper just the way the the um the plates work there so you just go over and you don't worry about it at all okay so that's perfect now so just take it down one notch and ink it again Over. I might need to move this magnet. Move that up a bit long there. Just a little bit more. Okay, and then just down one more again. gorgeous colour. So I'm pressing down a bit harder there where it will need a bit more pressure. Then down one again. Perfectly lined up stripes. Now, even with the photopolymer, you wouldn't necessarily find it that easy to do. <clears throat> Not only are they all perfectly lined up for this one, if this was something you wanted to make a lot of, then you can just, um, just keep putting your bits of paper in and carrying on. Make as many as you want to and they'll all be identical going to be an absolute godsend come Christmas time if you want to be um, batch making. If any of you have started your Christmas cards then let me know. I'd be very impressed. Just moving that magnet out of the way so I can get in. a bit more ink to that one okay that's made that one a bit darker though okay that's good right I want to clean that up now in with um, real red in between those stripes. Stamping up have brought out a chamois which I should have added to my last order which came today and I didn't which was a bit silly so I will add one very soon. Okay so giving that clean off just need to line it up again, peel it off, place it where I want it. I think this chamois that I'm using has seen better days anyway. It seems to be shredding a bit. Okay, I think that looks about right. So I've got that where I want it. I'm going to pick it up on the plate. Make sure everything's pressed down nicely so that nothing's going to shift. And take my real red ink pad. Same thing again. Just, that won't make any difference, but I will just clean it off so I don't put my fingers in it. That is the thing most likely to happen to me. Just 
go over that corner a little bit. There we go. I'm not taking over an answer. Okay. So same thing again. Step it down with the hinge step technique. Love red, white, and blue. It's one of my faves. So clean looking, isn't it? American friends. So you could use this kind of theme for your. Of July projects. Oops, sorry, knocking the camera. I <clears throat> just want to lay that a bit more flat because I seem to be buckling up. I don't want to smack my magnets together. Yeah, I thought that was going to do that. Let's go back over that. So you might not be able to pick it up on camera, but it was just slightly lighter on one side than the other. Okay. Good. Right, so that's the stripes all done. You wanted to go ahead and make some more you could just put the next piece of whisper white in and then um, carry on i'm just going to take these off and take this out of the way because i'm done with the stamparatus for now <clears throat> just take that out of the way put my magnet in its little cubby hole Get myself considerably inky. Well, not too bad, really, by my standards. Right, the next thing I want to do is a little bit of punching. Let's see, I've punched one out there already. I'm going to use the tailored tag punch. I'll just take a piece of uh, blueberry bushel. The next thing I want is piece of whisper white and my red ink and I've got the words happy and father's day from this um, thoughtful banners stamp set so you've got happy up there and then father's day down here um, the other thing that's quite nice because you've got all these great words you've got inspiring amazing blessed i love you thank you celebrate all these um, inspire all these great words and then you've got dad up there as well um they're quite cute in between if you wanted to do it that way um it works quite nicely so i'm just using the happy father's day which i'm going to stamp just in a row using real red I'm doing my happy first. Hopefully where you can see it. I'm using my grid paper as a kind of little guide. Happy. My, my father's day. Excuse me if you're going to see my hair, my head. Uh, Father's Day. There we go. Happy Father's Day. Let's close this ink pad up. Okay, so now I'm going to use this punch to just punch out that sentiment. See it fits beautifully. 
sure I'm straight. That's about right. There we go. So that's all of the components now. We just need to put it together. So I've got my piece of um, real red, which I've um, this A4 piece, which I've cut um, on the shorter side at ten and a half centimeters, and then uh, scored at fourteen point nine centimeters. So it gives you just a slightly different fold. You can have it that way or that way. Um, then I have my blueberry bushel piece, which is ten by fourteen four. So that will allow me to mat my um, whisper white exactly on that, like there. So these will all go together and then I'll add the sentiment on for you. What have I got here? I managed to scratch my piece of whisper white. Okay, so just a little bit of liquid glue will add that hello how are you are you watching from Spain <laughs> if so I'm very jealous because I'm freezing cold sitting here <laughs> okay just add a little bit of liquid glue. I want to put that on my mat. Oh, lucky you. I nearly put that straight on my red. Oh, I bet it is. It's it's time to winter here today. <laughs> this Yesterday I was boiling. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so jealous. Do you think I could catch quick fly over be with you by sunset it's only one o'clock okay I'm making a um, Father's Day card so I use the stamp apparatus which is the new stamp positioning tool to make these stripes all in the same place it did rain did it I feel better now, is that bad? <laughs> okay, so now I've, so I've laid that onto my blueberry bushel. I'm now going to lay, uh, glue that all down onto my real red piece. Uh, but you've got nice weather again today, so it's all good. And then hopefully you'll send it this way. Okay. Let's add that on. <clears throat> right, so that's the main piece of the um, card. I just need to add my uh, punched piece, punch pieces, there's the Happy Father's Day part as well there. Uh, I'm going to add both actually on with dimensionals, foam pads. So watch your postage if uh, you're having to mail this out. Father's Day is crazy in my world because it's also my dad's birthday and my son's birthday the day after. So um, I guess I should be making cards <laughs> for them. Right, so I'll just pop that about there. That seems about right. Let me just lift that up. Yeah, I'm happy with that placement. That's the first piece. And um, so I used the regular size dimensionals on um, 
the bigger piece, but I'm going to use the mini dimensionals on the slimmer piece. Yes, exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> And expensive too. Right, so just the smaller dimensionals on the back of this one. Yeah, we have a run of it. So June is my eldest son's birthday. Um, July is and uh, my dad's birthday. July is my birthday. August my husband's birthday, September my youngest birthday, October <laughs> my brother and mum, November um, my mother-in-law and then we're back on to Christmas again. Keeps life exciting. There we go, that fits on there nicely and that's it. Perhaps that explains why um, <laughs> it's uh, a simple card because I have so much going on in June but I think that is perfect for Dad and obviously you can swap that greeting out, use the same um, method, different colours, different sentiments because you've also got um, daughter on there and or just send someone um, a little card telling them that you are blessed that they are in your life. I hope you enjoyed that quick project and um, enjoy Spain, Mish. I'll try not to be too jealous in here. You're, you're in June. Ah, oh, yes, of course you are, because I wished you happy birthday the other day. Hmm. It's nice, isn't it? But in this country, we never know if it's going to be hot or cold because that's what I've always found for the June birthdays. Last, um, last year we were in the garden having a barbecue with all the family so um, I don't know if that will be the case again this year. So I'm off to put some socks on because my feet are freezing cold. <laughs> um, enjoy the rest of your day. I will pop um, more details of what I've used uh, in the post of this this particular Facebook live and um, take care everyone speak soon bye bye